friends to episode two of Max Q Barbecue. My name is Craig, and today we're going to share a family recipe for some pretzel buns. Since we love barbecue and make a lot of barbecue in our backyard, one of the things that we like to have is barbecue sandwiches. And what would we most like to eat those barbecue sandwiches on? Freshly baked pretzel buns. So in today's episode, we're going to show you how we make our pretzel buns. I have the recipe right here in the list of ingredients. We're going to go a little bit through the ingredients and show you what we're going to go into mixing into our pretzel buns. We have about 500 grams of all-purpose flour. We have 13 grams of sugar. We have 20 grams of extra dry milk. We have 7 grams of dry yeast and 7.5 grams of salt and 100 grams of discard from our sourdough starter and 200 grams of water. What I like to do is I like to start mixing in my starter into my water and my salt and smaller ingredients that dissolve very quickly. As you can see, I've mixed in all of the ingredients except the flour. I do this to, because it's easier to wet these ingredients and get them to dissolve into our water. Now I'm going to add the flour into our water and ingredient mix. After adding the flour to our wetted ingredients, I gently fold the flour into the mixture, trying to get it wet. It'll still take a few minutes to just slowly fold it in, also avoiding trying to get it spread all over the table. Note that I haven't folded in the butter yet. After I get these ingredients and the flour completely wetted and give it about 15 minutes to autolyze, then I'll start folding in the butter. It's been about 15 minutes and our dough is completely wetted and starting to form a very nice ball. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and fold our butter into our dough. And it's probably easiest to stretch our dough out on, the, on, our, on our table here and just kind of work the butter around on the surface, spread it around, and then we'll use our hands and we'll knead that butter into, into our flour. A lot easier to do this with your hands than it is to try to do it with the mixer. But if we had a mixer, we could put on the, on the bread hook and uh, let the mixer work it in. All right, now we have our dough and butter mixed and it's forming a really nice dough ball. So the next thing we want to do is part this dough. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a little uh, kitchen scale here and get a total weight. And it looks like it's about 939 grams. And I'd like to have our uh, rolls to be about 120 grams a piece. As you can see, I've now divided our dough into seven equal buns. And now we're just gonna roll those and make them good and consolidated and let them rise. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and prep our cooking tray for our, for our rolls. I usually like to spray a light coat of some cooking spray and then place a thin sheet of Parchment paper. I will tell you I've made a mistake before. I tried using wax paper. Don't do it. You just use parchment paper. And then we'll just place our buns on the parchment paper and give them some time, about 30 to 45 minutes, for them to rise. While we wait for our buns to rise, I'm going to go ahead and place a dish towel on the top of them and lightly spritz the dish towel with some water to keep the, the buns moist while they while the yeast has a chance to act and help proof the bread and make it rise. An hour has passed. It's time to flash boil our buns. As you can see, they had some time to proof and they've gotten nice and puffy. And the next step to our pretzel buns is to boil them in a sodium bicarbonate uh, bath. What this does, it'll start the sugars to uh, form the Maillard reaction, and so they'll brown up and look really nice. And we do a flash boil for about 30 seconds in the bicarbonate solution. As you can see, they just 
continue to puff up a little larger. A few seconds have passed. I'll go ahead and just flip it over so that it gets the other side. Give that another 15 or 20 seconds. an egg wash, just the egg whites and just a little teaspoon of water over the top of our buns and this gives them a nice finish when they bake. It also allows the, the salt which we're going to put on the pretzel buns to stick to the buns. So here I am just basting it down nice even smooth coat of the egg white and a little bit of water and then after I do this I'm going to go ahead and top them with some salt. I have right next to me the, the salt. This is some coarse ground salt. I'm just going to take a few little pinches of salt. Drop that salt over the top of the, of the buns. The final step before we throw them in the oven is to cut a little cross with a razor blade in the top of the buns. This allows the buns to expand and grow as the uh, they heat up in the oven and the gases and the, the air that's trapped in the buns to help them to bloom out. So we just take our little razor blade and we just take and make nice little incisions and crosses across the buns. And this allows them to really puff up nice. We have the oven preheated to 420 degrees. We're gonna place the buns in the oven and bake them for Alrighty, it's been 30 minutes in the oven, and now it's time to take them out. There goes the timer. Ooh, there goes my glasses fogging up. Oh, don't those look beautiful. Cool practice. Tomorrow, split the rolls in half and serve some brisket and have some brisket sandwiches. Look here, we have our buns, and now we're ready to make that delicious sandwich. First thing we need to do is take and slice the bun in half, and then I'm gonna take it over to the stove and put it on my cast iron skillet with a little bit of butter to toast it. Oh man, look at that crumb on that bun. It is absolutely beautiful. So, fun fact, in this month's Reader's Digest, they teamed up with Taste of Home and they looked at the best sandwich in every state. And guess what won in Missouri? The burnt in brisket sandwich. Now, they didn't even have it on pretzel buns. If they had had it on pretzel buns, it would have been the best sandwich in the whole country. But we Klimzaks are onto something. There is nothing better than Craig's brisket on pretzel buns. Gotta try it. Come to St. Louis. Just a little bit of butter in the cast iron skillet on a medium heat. Just drop the buns in there, let them absorb some of that butter, and let them toast. Check our buns to see how our toasting is going. Oh, nice golden brown color there. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. We're ready to start making our sandwich. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my little slice of Swiss cheese here. I'm going to fold, fold the corners up so that it uh, matches the buns there a little bit better. I'll take just a little dab of some mustard here on the bottom. And I'm going to go over here to my uh, brisket that I had heaped up in a little saucepan. Pull out some brisket. There you have it. Brisket sandwich on a pretzel bun. Perfect quick lunch.